Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching from. Depending on the time you come across this video, this is Polly Press. I bring this video to you. This is a true life story. I want us to learn from it, especially ladies and uh, parents. The story goes like this. I lost my parents when I was still very young. And uh, my grandmother had to be the one to take care of me. Along the line, no grandmother, they used to pamper children like extra length. They don't want anything to happen to you. They just want to take care of you to their satisfaction. And in that way, I got spoiled. And roaming about, thinking that that is how life should be. No one to train me in the right way. All I do was right in her eyes. And uh, eventually, I got this virgin at 12, 12 years old. And I had, at 20 now, I'm having 10 children. And I only have six. 10 times. 10 times, and I'm having 10 children because I write it every time I meet with a man. So the question now is, how come 10 times 10 children from 12 years to 20 in the space of 8 years? So now I come to discover that there are some people, their body is very flexible. I call those body touch and carry. And there are some people, no matter 100 times they do it, it doesn't reflect no results so now most of us might be thinking oh putting blame on a girl let me tell you when you have a child a girl and you don't train them especially in the area of man and woman when it comes to man and woman in front of you like this the children will become nothing what you don't want at the back of your head it will come to front of your head to your forehead and there is nothing you can do about it every blessed day i go through my children profile i go through their status today when i saw her my girl profile i quickly message her what is this profile he said ha ah, mommy people like the profile they like it so much and most people have naked on your profile i told her delete that picture she was like, the picture is beautiful, nothing wrong with it. I said, I don't want to repeat myself. She said, okay, ma. She deleted it. She put another picture. Flower, red flower. I said, I don't like red. Change that red. She said, okay. And she changed it. You see, distance. Let's, okay. The little girl, her parents died. And her grandmother, we know how grandmother does. does. So, you don't, you don't, you, we don't blame her in that aspect. Then what about you and I? That we are still alive and our children are becoming useless in front of us. Okay, let's assume there is distance. The distance is there. All their life all their lifestyle are in the yeah, internet. You know, children, they don't hide the way they behave, they don't hide anything. What they are doing inside, they will bring it out. This this. Immediately you saw it, what did you do? Did you encourage them or you, you discourage them? Did you tell them the implication of what they are doing or you encourage them to keep it up? There are some parents that even try dress half naked for their, peer, uh, their children. And tomorrow we say we don't know where they learn it from. They learn it from you and I. I always say it in my videos. I say, what your children will do that you will not be able to correct them? Don't do it. We know there is a stage that, yes, we are, we are living our lives like we are on the top of the world. But what did we achieve? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So that is the more reason we have to train those children in the way they should go. So when they grow, they will not depart from it. This time now, there are too much tension on the girls. There are oppressions on them. Boys are just trying to oppress them to, you know, discourage their mind just because of money if you don't have to give to your children try to calm them encourage them that it will be better tomorrow 
Lastly, that little girl, she need our prayers. You are waiting for me to call her name or to bring her picture. No. She needs our prayer. She needs our love. Wherever we see girls doing things that are unusual, that they are not supposed to do, what are you going to do as a parent? It's not your children. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be your children before you talk to them. Bring them closer. Give them listening ears. A lot of people need people to talk to in this period. They want to talk. I have something to share with you. Hello, sister. Ah, I'm so busy. I don't have your time. No. This is the time we need to have our time to talk to people. Even if you will complain yours, give them listening ear first. Hear what they want to say. Hear their complaint first. Encourage them. Pray for it. Pray for them. You don't have money to give them. Find it. Talk to them. They need your words. Be calm with them. The way your action can lead someone to go and commit suicide. Your words. So let your words of the words of your mouth be a medicine to someone's life. There was a time I was going through a lot of challenges that I have prayed, I have fasted, I have done maras of this even night vision. There is no changes. I have to call a friend. When I talk to him, what did he say? He said, Go and talk to God. I said, I hey. I have talked to God. I have prayed. He said, Yes, it's not still enough. Go on your knees. Talk to God. That is the biggest medicine he gave to me. When I do, I had the best sleep that night. Everything in you was just off my shoulder, easily. And I have been doing no solution. Did you see that the words of his mouth? I thought that, okay, I have been doing this and still referring me to this. I do it and I get well. So that is what God needs from us. Let's lead people more to Christ, more to prayer. That complain of what they are doing. It may not be them. It may not be their fault. A lot of things happen today. It's not their fault. You see, immediately they are caught. They will say that it's not my fault. It's the work of the devil. Who is the devil? You and I. Because when they cry to us, we chase them. And tomorrow when they commit something bad, we lay blame on them. But they ask our help. So please, for all those corruptions and atrocities to get less, we need ourselves. We need each other. Let's talk more to ourselves than gossiping, backbiting, quarreling, fighting. Where is it going to lead us? I pray as we listen, may God bless us in Jesus' name. Please, let's take care of our girls. They need us. Our boys, they need us. Let's talk to them. Know what they do. Chase them. Be monitoring them. Be a monitoring spirit in their life. Yes. You don't care if they hear or they don't hear. You play your part and leave the rest for God. If God sees your heart that you are genuinely trying to bring them to the right place, trying to change them, to make them a better person, God in heaven will, will, will put you through. He will support you spiritually to make them who you want to be, who you want them to be. I pray that our children will not go astray. They will not be a victim and they will not be the crime committers in Jesus' name. The nations of the earth are not smiling. The whole world is not smiling. But let's try to put smile more to each other's face. And God will help us. Please don't forget to come once in a while to this channel. Just a word of encouragement and love. It is well with you all. I still remember the praise. Bye for now. <laughs>